Hello everyone and welcome to our 12th episode of the Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last episode, we started up in Rostock, did a few missions and a few stashes in Crux Cemetery, came back to Rostock and started moving south so we could talk to Librarian here in the Clear Sky Base. Um, we moved through Garbage, grabbed a few stashes, uh, then went through Cordon, also grabbed Hip, on the way because we actually managed to get our eight snork hands and then move to the clear sky base where librarian asked us to get 11 <laughs> 11 anti-radiation drugs so i did say i would do that off screen between episodes uh what i did was basically bought some from uh, the medic here then bought a couple from Sidorovich in uh, Cordon, then bought a couple from the Northern Farm, and then I ended up all the way up into the flea market. I also did an assassination mission here. I think I got the green stash, but I just walked back down. And uh, we managed to gather them all up, and I turned them in. And the next mission that they gave us is to go to the arm... Uh, to the army base in uh, Agroprom, where we have to talk to Lieutenant Kirillov and he will give, give us the next step of the mission. Now, as I said last time, I will try and farm a little bit more, not in the southern areas, but I will go to kind of the central areas of the map because I do feel like I need a bit more gear before I head north. It's a bit too much for me right now. It's a bit too risky for an Evictus run. And uh, so we're going to go to Agroprom. We're going to do this mission here. We'll see what they ask of us. Then I will probably move over to Garbage, collect these couple of stashes. The green stash might give us something good. Return to Rostock. Probably head over to the truck cemetery if nothing comes up. Uh, do these few missions over here. And uh, I'm not sure, but I'm actually thinking about raiding radar. I don't think I want to actually engage the monolith base. We'll see how we do on ammo. But I would at least like to clear some of the monolith on the way, because they do drop good stuff. And I would like to see what we get. Alright, so right now, we will just start moving north and to the army warehouses and we'll see what happens next. Uh, we didn't get anything new in the past uh, episode, so we're still running the AK-105, the Saiga-12 and uh, the SVU. We have a pretty good amount of ammunition. We're a bit low on buckshot and let's see if... Uh, our guy here, Spore, doesn't sell some. Because I'd rather not use... Uh, oh, we can just buy everything. I would rather not use our... Um, our FMJ ammo for the 545. Alright. So, let's start moving. I hear something fighting over here. Oh! <laughs> that was an in interesting. Not sure if that was actually a death animation or. Oh, there's more dogs. Come on, sit still, you mutt. There we go. Oh, it's um, Karlik. Oh, 
Just gonna make a quick jump in the water, save us from the dogs. Or cats, or whatever those are. Cats! Damn ghosts. Okay. Pretty sure I heard another Karlik die around here, but I'm not sure where. Ah, whatever. Let's let's just uh, mind our business and head uh, north. I guess I should start looking into cooking some dog. <laughs> Just so many of them. Okay, so I'd rather not engage with the military over there. Unless I really need to. Just because it's uh, the cover's pretty bad. anomaly helped. I hope we don't get fried ourselves. We're trying to loot. There we go. so annoying when I when I try to loot and uh, I, I kind of form the reflex in which uh, I, <clears throat> right after I loot a mutant I instantly press space to to loot everything oh don't get hit by that okay we're good it sounds like something's fighting over there so let's stay on the right side it's probably just some renegades. But it's uh, really annoying to fight them in the bushes right there. Not scared of dying, but taking hits just uh, means we, we waste uh, both medical stuff and... Um... Oh! Cool, a ball! It means we waste both medical uh, stuff and uh, we also take damage to our armor. And I don't really want to use up any more rubles than I have to repairing it. Getting the gear from some renegades is almost never worth it. Alright, here we are in Agroprom. I can already hear some zombies in the distance. I'm not too stressed about them, but uh, there are controllers in this, this area a lot of the time. Well, not a lot of the time, sometime. Let's go get that stash since we're here. We haven't passed through Agroprom in a long time. It's not really my favorite place to be. Uh, just because unless you, you're you actually working on clearing the military base, it's uh, just either a lot of mutants uh, that are pretty fast and annoying, and it's pretty hilly, so you can't really chase them properly. And there's also random freedom running around, which I also don't really want to engage right now. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's do a little 
run through the base because there are a lot of uh, cool stuff around here. There's water, there's food, there's electronics, which I don't care that much about, but hey, loot is loot. Meds. Never say no to meds. Oh, even more meds. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything I want? Not really. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, rad protectants. And sleeping pills. And um, I think we're good. Got caffeine. I will take antidotes just because they heal both the head and the torso a little bit. Which I like. And um, I can actually make uh, anti-radiation drugs with potass potassium iodine. So I'll take this as well. Okay. We, we do have a modest amount of money which we can spend. They're gonna do a little trip to the mechanic as well. Oh, actually, it's him I need to talk to. Let's fix our stuff first. There's nothing that needs maintaining right now. Yep, yeah, we're good. Ah. Um... I'll just fix the knife with the sharpening stone set. Alright, and um, we don't really have anything to trade with him either, so yeah, this, this should be okay. I have come to see you. Oh god. So the mission is to basically wipe out all the stalkers around that base. Well, the loners at least, it seems. Which is not really what I want to do, because they are friendly. I will lose a lot of reputation by doing this. Ooh, bathroom textiles. Nice. Broken detectors. I'm just gonna loot everything. Uh, yes. Okay, let's... How, how do I start this? Oh, interesting. I was expecting a big reputation hit there. Oh no, never, never mind. I think they heard me. At least this one did. So... Hey, okay, that's two. <laughs> I'm laughing at the uh, comms. Okay, now by shooting these guys, I'm gonna trigger everyone. So, do one and two. Okay, clear sky guys didn't bother. I hope I don't have to kill them as well. Not bad, we, we have some AP rounds in there, which is really cool. Okay, and finally... There might actually be one up top. Two, three. Gonna leave the trainee for last? Nah. Did we do it? Oh, 
Oh, that one saw us. And he's behind the bush, so I can't tell where he is. Oh, never mind. Got him. This, this just makes me feel bad, honestly. I fucking hate military for this. Okay, do I have to clear everyone? And let's see how much our reputation dropped. Not by a lot, really. I think our duty reputation uh, goodwill dropped a lot. I have to clear to to kill the clear sky guys as well. Oh, okay, so I only needed to clear these guys. Hmm. Did hear someone shouting? I hope I didn't trigger anyone. I think we're good. Yeah, so apparently I didn't have to kill all the guys um, over on the north side of the base, but uh, oh well. You live and you learn. Grab, grab a bite to eat on the way. Okay, here we are. Where are you gonna send us next? Uh, anomaly behind the plant. I think that's the one that does a lot of psi damage, so I don't think we can get there. I don't remember if... Uh, it passes when when you close down the miracle machine. Ah, oh, maybe we'll see next time we get there. Would you guys get out of my way? Okay. So our next mission is to meet with Mangun. Uh and he is right in Rostock, so I'm gonna go through garbage because I like this green stash and I don't really wanna fight mercs coming from this side. So let's just do that. I wonder if we have enough Psy resistance to also get that artifact here in Agroprom. Mm, it's not looking good, but if we take some Psy meds... You know what? I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll walk in there and if it Looks like I take too much damage, I'll just walk out and we should be good. Alright, here we are. So on the way, I took some pseudo-dog uh, food. I uh, took some uh, psi resist pills. Oh, also, don't, uh, don't make the mistake of going this way. It's actually one floor up. So it's on the second floor. The quest marker is a bit uh, wrong there. So let's see how bad it is. Mm. Okay. Um, I am a bit overweight. So you know what? I'll drop some stuff off. I'm not sure. I It might increase my movement speed. I hope it does. My guy can carry some more. And let's try making a run for it. 
The laptop is right here. And we got it. And uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're out. <laughs> oh, God. That, that was one tick away from being dead. All right, so... These are the anomalies. Uh, we, we could actually do them. And in this case, uh, move through Yantar. Wait. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, it's the guy in the swamps. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 leave it to to next time. We also got the beacon, which um, is the stupidest artifact out there. <laughs> Basically, if you kill someone uh, from long distance, you will teleport uh, to where they were. Um. Which, as you can imagine, is not a good thing. Because you, you'll just end up in the middle of all of the enemies. But there could be some interesting uses for the artifact. For example, um, getting on rooftops... Uh, rooftops... <laughs> rooftops... <laughs> getting on rooftops uh, in the nuclear power plant... Or that annoying tower at the end of Limansk, uh, at the hospital, where you kill a bunch of monolith, well, a couple, and you can never loot them because they died in the top of the tower where you can't reach. But I, I will probably just sell it. Okay, here we are, home. And we can actually talk to Mangoon. Hey, guys. Okay, they got a bit stuck. All right, so let's talk to Mangoon and see what he has to say. Come to see you. And he asks us to kill some mutants in the army warehouses. I mean, sure, I do know he asks, either has the option or always asks for a gun at some point, And that's the one mission I'm a bit scared of because... Uh, you never know what kind of weapon he's going to ask for. Right, so I'm going to um, check out the missions around, going to check out on the stash a little bit, put everything back in, maybe buy some ammo, um, and uh, then we will start heading towards uh, army warehouses. We have a couple of missions to turn in. So, I'll uh, come back when everything is uh, settled. Alright, we're back. It's the next day. And uh, I ran around, I did a lot of quests. I think I did about 10 or 12 turn-in quests around Rostock. So, we actually got a little bit of money. We uh, bought uh, some more AP ammo. If we're gonna assault Monolith, we might as well have some AP. Um... We also upgraded our uh, steel plates to carbon steel plates. That's two upgrades, so that's awesome. And I think we are actually ready to go. I'll just drop these off. Uh, also bought some water, cooked some food. We got boar chops, we've got flesh bacon, and we've got pseudo dog chops and some rat skewers. So we should be covered with food for a pretty long time. We have our morphine, we have our epi. Hell, if I had a few more bullets, I would actually give the Brain Scorcher a try. Although, uh, <laughs> uh, it, that, that thing scares me, honestly. Alright, so let's, let's just go on. We'll do the mutant quest for Mangoon as well. Uh, who are you? Professional. Hmm. Well, if my guys got die, I should actually look for some better companions. Um, yeah, so we got the... Mission for, Mang uh, for Mangoon. Sorry, I got distracted by the anomaly there. Got the mission from Mangoon to take care of some mutants in army warehouses. And we're gonna start with that. And then I think we're going to go to, to Radar before we turn that in. 
and we'll see what happens afterwards. Okay, here we are in army warehouses. Um, we do have a PDA 2.0 so we can see who's around here. We gotta kill these guys. And uh, I'm guessing there's renegades there. So we do have quite a few missions to do here. Who's this guy? Expert, experience. No, expert. He looks like he's pretty nicely geared. Right, so let's not waste time anymore. Let's just go clear that uh, research area. Gonna look quickly if there's any mutants in that direction. There's usually something, but it looks clear right now, unless it's a bloodsucker. And let's see, who do we have to kill over there? That's the Burnt Anomaly house, so they're going to be there in that little base. I have heard dogs in that direction, but I, I think we'll be okay. They won't cross the street for us. Alright, and there's the Freedom Guy. There was the Freedom Guy. We're not done yet. There's definitely more. Let's just go and push him. Got FMJ loaded. Where the hell? I think he's behind the bush there. Oh, there he is. Okay, and there's uh, more over there. Yeah, I saw you. in the house. Oh, that's my guy. <laughs> uh, sorry, my dude. Interesting. I actually needed one of those artifacts. I don't know who I'm supposed to give it to, but uh, sweet. We artifact. We mission. I hope our duty guy won't have any issues with us after we uh, shot him a bunch. I do need to take some rad resist. And we also need to clear up these rads that we've got. I'll just take a potassium iodide for now. Okay, that's some butt shot. It's all right. And I do hope you didn't... Can I loot this guy? Without getting pummeled. Okay, just, just at the edge of being able to. Alright, we can actually grab a little bite to eat. I'll just have some rat skewers, because I don't think uh, it's... Uh, a, a lot of hunger. Or maybe it is. Okay, let's go deal with the mutants uh, over to our left. Over there. Uh, yeah, we can... Ooh. Easy now. Don't want to accidentally step into an anomaly. And I'll try and avoid the actual freedom base. We cleared it, like, uh, yesterday. But even so, uh, there, there's usually a couple of guys that respawn. You know what? We're actually closer to the scientist, uh, ecologist base there. So let's see what's there to kill. I'm gonna switch to low penetration just because I don't wanna... It's probably just renegades and I don't really wanna waste ammo. Oh, they, they've already spotted them. Oh, it's bandits.
Okay. This suddenly became urgent. They're probably all in the house, so let's charge in. Oh, that's... Oh, please don't shoot me. I'm, I'm friendly, I promise. All right. I really don't like hiding in this house uh, from here. Sweet. I hope he doesn't shoot us now because we did shoot him right before this. Okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't really like hiding in this spot from uh, anomalies. First of all, there's a lot of radiation, which we're okay with. Ignore combat, you idiots. Uh, my guys are just chilling, apparently. No, don't, don't hurry, it's not like the whole world is exploding. Crazy. Right, so the house. There's a lot of radiation here and also um, there's pretty angry mutants hanging around this area. So at some point I did get attacked by a chimera in here. And it kind of left me wary of this place. Okay, we're back. Emission's over. We didn't get attacked by chimeras, which is uh, good. I think we looted everything from here. Yes, we did. There's one more corpse outside. And always check this spot, because it always has a lot of stuff on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know what? I I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take the mil-spec power supply as well, because uh, those things are not easy to come by or cheap. And I'll drop this, and I'll give these to you. You can hold on to my heavy stuff. And the bullets. And all of these. Okay. Can disassemble this. I actually need the vodka. Okay. Anything else he can actually carry for us. I love the weather right after a, an anomaly. Yeah, I do I hope we don't have any mercs behind us. Hope they mind their own business. Right, let's switch to AP. We're not sure if freedom's going to come out yet, but we do need to take care of those mutants, so uh, we're going to have to go there that way, one way or another. I mm. don't really like that spot. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything over there, but it is a bit foggy. And the mutants look like they're zombies. Okay, that was a bit scary. I can't hear the thing properly because of the rain.
What? I have no idea what actually... Oh! Okay, that was a... Chimera! Holy crap! We were actually very lucky to survive that. Okay, note to self, don't go out in the rain ever again. I'm not sure what he's still shooting at. Are you still killing zombies or something? Oh yeah, there was still a zombie here. Okay, um... I, I'm, I'm still getting over that close call with the Chimera. <laughs> uh, and all I had to do is just wait another minute. And uh, everything would have been okay. I don't need to fix this right now. Right. So... Yeah, I think we're good to go to radar. Let's, let's just do it. I was thinking of going back, turning in the mission for Mangoon and see, seeing what he... wants. But you know what? We we can do that uh, later. Let's let's just do this. Let's see what's in radar. Exosuit. Fingers crossed. And a, a tool set to repair it. All right. So here we are in radar. Just gonna move slowly. A little slowly. <laughs> There may be a monolith guy up front sometimes. They're there in the little um, checkpoint thing. So it doesn't look like there's anyone there. Dogs though. Oh, I think I'm using AP. I didn't want to use the shotgun at this distance. Okay, that, that went uh, good. I should take something for rad resistance. We're taking quite a few rads here. Okay, have a cigarette. Okay, and I think, you know what, I'll take some pseudo dog chops just because uh, there are controllers running around here most of the time. Okay, I hear zombies in the distance. That's just my guys fighting. Mm. It's just my guys fighting crates. Don't like this yellow. definitely heard something in the distance. Okay, zombies over there. I, I want to check up here first. If the zombies kill themselves on that anomaly, I'm I'm good with it. Oh crap. It's 
snorks and probably a controller over there. So let's just uh, pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh boy. Alright, so how do we do this? There is a snork there. I'm gonna call my guys back. Guys? They're actually moving away from me. Ah. Okay, I have no idea what they're fighting over there. Probably the snort. Thing is, I don't want to attract too many things at once on me, because those ghosts will definitely overrun me. And for that reason, I'd also like to kill the zombies from a distance. Okay, that's a zombie walking into an electric anomaly. Okay, that sounded like a chimera. Come on, come on. I really don't want to fight the chimera in the open. I don't know if you guys heard the roaring, but that definitely sounded like a chimera pounce. Well, the zombies are done, at least. Almost. Oh, there it is. Okay. Chimera is down. But that still leaves the controller. Okay, let's let's just move on slowly. There was definitely something else there. I heard a roar. I would be very happy if it was fighting Monolith. <laughs> mm. This is not a good place to be. And there's also a poltergeist over there. Oh, 
that this tank is very radioactive. The hell? My guys are idiots. Okay. Take some anti-rad. And I would like to really quickly move behind these rocks here. There's a monolith base up ahead. So we're going to switch to our sniper rifle. And uh, let's do a little scouting over there. You can't usually see them from here. So let's switch to AP. Let's have our little drink of water. And let's hope the chimeras and controllers killed all the monolith in here. Heads on spikes, you know, just, just, just monolith things. Okay, it looks like there's no one here. Which is weird. Alright, back to the sniper. We're gonna switch to our semi AP ammo. And uh, I'd like to not get close to any metal kind of thing, because they're usually very, very radioactive. Speaking of radioactive... Okay, there's one. And I think he's down. I'm gonna do a little med kit here. All right. Um, the fact that it's very foggy doesn't help. Hey, that guy looked like he had an exosuit. Ooh! Got him. Sounds like there's more. But I can't see. Yep, there's one. see them properly. Take a heal and uh, oh god our guys are going forward like idiots. Where the hell is it? Okay can't see anything so let's uh, pull back and try to kite them back here. Uh, right behind the pipes should be a good place. I just hope my guys don't get killed. Oh great, and we have the poltergeist here as well. Let's just do one of these. We'll take a morphine, get that little bit of damage resistance in. And um, the cool thing is, while you're using meds, you're actually making the enemies come towards you. 
Um, do I have... Yes, I have glucose. Okay, that should be close enough for them to be able to shoot something. I think I got him. But there's more. I mean, it's monolith. There's, there's always more. Just can't see anything from here. Hey, let's let's do that again. Pull back. I'll even eat the chocolate. Uh, one of our guys is still fighting because they're idiots. Okay, let's uh, try getting back here again. Ah, idiot. Okay, I think we got him. And uh, that one too. Right, well, my guys are no longer going crazy. Ah, oh, Vintoris. Don't really care for that. So, I think it's safe to go a little bit forward. AK-105 is pretty cool, but I don't think I want it right now. Gonna have to do a really quick, quick loot here because that truck is horrible. Ooh, that's a pretty nice weapon. How many are there? Wow. Forty-six k. We already have one at home. Oh, fully functional. Well. Fully barreled deer hunter. That's amazing. I'll take that. Thank you. And the USB match, which I don't really care about. Oh, and we got some HP ammo as well. I'll be honest, I'm kind of scared of what will come from back there. For now, let's swap to our shotgun. Just so we're ready for anything. We know for sure that there was a controller. Oh, it's just a bit of radiation. Don't go crazy on me. Okay, we're gonna have a little cigarette here. You're the rads, and we're gonna keep an eye out on that fence. Because if anything comes at us, it's gonna be from beyond the fence. There's gonna be more monolith up the road. They're usually uh, camped out there. But I don't really want to engage them until I clear this little area here. Yep. You already heard it. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Kind of sounded like... Kind of sounded like a chimera again. Okay, I actually have an idea. Whatever it is, it's gonna have to come through here. So, let's drop a mine. And uh, even if it doesn't die...
Okay. It is the Chimera. <laughs> Alright, so our little ploy worked out. There's a little base up there in case an emission happens. But I'm not really scared of that. It get a really good weapon. I'll um I'll keep this in case I need to create a stash. Okay, back to the sniper rifle. And uh do we need to do anything else? I think we're good. With the camp over there, it's always really weird to how on Ah, it's I, I always I never know how to approach it properly. Because they can actually shoot to, through the fence as well. Got one. Do remember that they can actually see through the leaves, unlike me. But I think there was just two of them. So that went uh, much better than expected. There will be even more up ahead. Uh, anomalies on this road are always uh, crazy. I'll set my guys to ignore combat. Just because I don't want them... Ooh. I actually think this is better than my AK-105 Specialist, but... Um, not, not right now. Um, you there. You don't have anything on you. What about you take my stuff? It's kind of stupid what I'm doing, because I'm keeping my back towards where a monolith patrol could come out of, but, uh... Well, I'm committed now, so... Whatever. Okay. Hope there's only one there. Luckily he didn't spot us. Uh, until we blew his head off with five bullets. Oh, there's another one. Not the best of aim, but, uh... Oh, come on. I really want to loot this guy. I didn't even see what he had on him. I just uh, tried to loot him as fast as I could. AK-74M. Well, it's a grenade launcher, at least. Okay. Here we are back at the safe, so um, I actually, my game ended up crashing right after I finished fighting the base, and I didn't save, which means we're gonna have to do it all over again. We actually managed to do it, last time I actually managed to do it with um, uh, just one of my guys dying. Which is acceptable, unfortunately, yeah. Game crashes, it happens. And uh, it's gonna be a lesson to me to... Um, okay, I should have had the sniper rifle ready. I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna move as fast as I can. I'll take a rad resist. <clears throat> I'll move as fast as I can to this corner here. And um, we should be able to spot them as they come in. There they are. Oh, crap. Okay, 
Uh, I'll keep my guys to not fight for now, because I don't want them running every which way. And I'll get right here between the car and the um, pipes. That way I hope we're not going to get killed from behind. And the hope here is that they'll all come... Oh. <laughs> My duty guy is an idiot. I don't know if I mentioned it. But uh, I, I think you should know. <laughs> Alright, let's go right around the corner. We can throw another one of these. And uh, of course, now we gotta run back and heal, because... Um, anomalies. I hope that got him. Okay, I gotta say, these trees are actually pretty nice. <laughs> Ah, that was a bit too close. I keep looking back because I'm... Um, I'm really scared of the guy in the tower respawning. They do that sometimes and it's... Uh, not fun. So I'm going to leave this spot right now, and I'm going to go the other way. Uh, mostly because uh, I don't want to enter right through here. I would like to kill most of them on the road, outside, because there's a lot of bushes and things that kind of give them a lot of cover. So let's let's start moving forward here. There will probably be guys back in the towers. No, not yet. But if my last attempt is to be judged, uh, they will definitely respawn at some point. I think I'll let my guys fight. That guy actually had an exo. Okay. Got him on his way up. That's good. There might be more. Okay, that's actually not bad. Uh, I'll... Just in case I need to loot more, I'll do a morphine right now. Okay, and... Uh, let's see, towers still look clear, which is good. And this approach actually lets you get pretty close. But the annoying thing is, the monolith down there are pretty hard to spot, so... Let's try and grab everything. Get behind this little thing. There's a stash right there, but uh, I want to make sure everything's clear before we do we get to it. I can't see that tower, which is annoying. Oh! 
Yeah, there's definitely still someone out there. And if I had a guess, I'd say he's definitely in the tower. No, under the tower? Well, not anymore. My guys are set to fight, so they should provide a nice uh, warning if anything comes close. And I think we can get to looting. Finally. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but um, we did kill, kill one of the guys in the tower. Um, like, just a minute ago. And the corpse doesn't show up. Which is really annoying. Um, Remington. I'll just disassemble what I can. I'm not sure how these guys died, though. Uh, maybe they tried to throw a grenade or something? Alright. I'll do another quick save. I'm sorry, I'm just paranoid that it's gonna crash again. <laughs> Okay, that's some monolith exosuit. I don't really care about it. I don't care about the Bintores. This is nice. Um, I'll take uh, Rad Resist. Uh, I mean a Rad Away. Rad, uh, sorry, Fallout. A uh, Rad Thing. <laughs> and we'll just make sure we loot everything real nice and quick. That's nice. Got a grenade launcher for our G46. I'm not sure if we had one. But uh, now we do. Okay, gonna do another med kit. I just want to be topped off no matter what happens. Um, and as soon as I get away from the radiation, I'm gonna go back behind uh, these trees. Because I know I could withstand the rads here. Uh, I'm gonna have a cold brew coffee. And I'm gonna fix my gear real quick. Uh, we also need an antidote to fully heal our head and torso. Perfect. And uh, yeah, we can actually use this. Perfect. Right. Um. Not sure how much AP I still have. Oh boy. That's right in the middle of the anomaly. We got him. Oh, we didn't actually get the stash, so... Let's do a quick run back and get that as well. Oh god. Just take this. No response yet. I think it's safe to eat at this point. If the towers respawn, I can just jump behind uh, something. I guess nothing up here. And this stash should be right here. There it is. Okay, it's not much, but it's something. We're not actually losing any stamina. Because we did a morphine. Okay, so I hope I don't jinx it, but I think this one went pretty well. Much better than last time. Now, again, there might still be respawns around here, so 
I'm always going to double check. Um, I don't know what happened to radar, but the respawns are just ridiculous. There's another monolith camp there, which we cleared on the way up. And uh, let's see if it's back. Coming down is even worse than going up, actually. Because you actually have no cover whatsoever. Okay, I can always already hear gunfire in the distance, so it means the ones below respond, I guess. Or was it our guys just shooting boxes? I'm not sure at this point. I'm, I'm growing a bit paranoid, to be honest. Oh, boy. The rads. I'm just going to make a run for it. We, we have plenty of cover all the way down there. And, uh, oh, damn, the scroll bug. Well, I don't see anyone in the distance, so I think we got away from the respawns. Which is really good. I don't think I've ever seen anyone up in that tower, but it never hurts to check. Okay, someone's fighting something over there. It sounds like dogs. Okay, there he is. That's one, but I don't think they ever patrol alone. That's some 5.56 five, ammo. That's good. Oh, that's a black chimera. Okay, uh, shotgun. I'm pretty sure it spotted us. Walk through an electric anomaly and... Uh, yeah, it did kill something over there. And this place is so irradiated. Oh god. Okay, uh... Oh, yeah, my radiation protection ran out. This is totally not scary at all. I would eat, but I can't afford to get caught off guard with Black Chimera here. I'm not sure what it's attacking. Oh, us! Let's do the little Chimera Ballet. Ooh, that, that was, um... That was something. Hmm. <laughs> no hide, unfortunately, but... Still, we got it, and that's good. Oh, okay, so... The thing killed three monolith. Guys.
I mean, the ammo's good at least. No, I think we're good. These are the dogs we killed on the way out. On the way in. So, I think we're clear. This was nice. We got some loot. We didn't lose much, except ammo. And, um, uh, we... Uh, did use up a lot, especially AP. Um... With this gear, we could probably do the Brain Scorcher, but uh, we definitely did not have enough ammo for it. And um, even if we did have enough ammo, for, for some reason, well, for some reason, it's a really, really hard dungeon now. It, it used to be hard before, but at least um, you didn't need to rush to fight the Monolith. You could actually... Take your time a little bit and uh, think about what you're supposed to be doing before fighting them, because you fought them on your way out. But now you actually... Uh, yeah, that's friendly. But now, as you have to fight them on the way in, it's very, very hectic. And uh, you don't really have time to think. You don't have. You you just have to run and act. And uh, I don't feel confident doing that in Evictus. I mean, I I know it seemed like we did that just now with the Monolith base, but that wasn't as um, risky. I mean, I took the monolith, monolith base, base even before quite a lot of times. And this is one of the easier strategies. The other one would have been to kill a few guys and run back to the... Um, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Alright, so... The tactic we did was a bit harder, actually. What I usually do is uh, you've got this sandbag barrier right here. And uh, I would shoot a guy in the tower, and then I would run back to the sand sandbag barrier and just wait there. It's really hard for them to shoot you, and they all come down along this fence here, which means you can just pick them off as soon as they turn the corner on the fence. And the whole base comes at you. So you can just headshot them one by one. They won't push any further because they don't have any cover between you and the sandbags. So they'll just stay there and get shot. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, this time, uh, we had uh, an anomaly right next to the ha to the sandbags. And um, it, it wouldn't have worked. So I, I had to use the other tactic, which is basically kill the guys in the tower, run to the far to the far entrance as fast as possible. So not the back door, but the front door, and hide behind either those big pipes or um, behind those trees I showed you. Okay, so here we are back home. I'll turn the mission in to Mangun. That was the mutant hunting mission in army warehouses. Okay. And he actually gave us a stash, which is good. I'll also decrypt this, this PDA. And I gotta meet with Sidorovich, so we're gonna have to go all the way back to Corden. But, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Ooh, two green stashes in wild. Um, I might have to go there. And there was another stash in uh, Radar, but I didn't know it's there. Too bad. There's also a lot of stashes starting to gather up in, uh, up here in uh, Jupiter. Even one in the Red Forest, so we might want to do that as well. And I might actually go to Red Forest and move through Limansk next, because uh, 
I'm I'm not sure if I want to deal with sin right now. But first, we're going to have to go back down to Sidorovich. And between episodes, I will actually uh, see what we got, what's usable, what's not. And uh, yeah, we, we actually got a good stockpile of random stuff. We should make a lot of money just from selling a lot of the pistol ammunition we're not using. And uh, turning in a lot of uh, mutant parts. Especially we killed some chimeras, so... Uh, yeah, plus... We've got four PDAs, which I'll have to check for stashes. But yeah, so for a quick recap, today we started out in uh, the Great Swamps. We moved to, because we had a mission from Librarian to talk to the military guy here in the Research Institute. We went there, we talked to him, we had to clear out a few loners. Uh, at the factory, after which we went through garbage, we got back to Rostock, talked to Mangoon, which was the next mission, uh, he asked us to kill some mutants in army warehouses, and since we went to army warehouses, I decided we'll do a little raid on radar as well. We went in, killed a few chimeras, killed some zombies, killed... Um, killed a lot of monolith monolith we basically killed cleared the base and we run back really really fast luckily we didn't lose a guy which uh, again as i said the game crashed initially and uh yeah in the first raid i did before the crash one of my guys died but in this new run um it worked out fine and uh just as a little bonus info, the guy didn't die because Monolith shot him. The guy died because I was jumpy and I headshot him from behind with the sniper rifle. <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment. And I'll see you all next time.